nobody will do it for you. I'm trying to tell these cats, but I let them do their thing. You ain't in the bank and you'll be your just take it. Don't make me expose you to them folks that don't know you. They gotta do you, cause nobody will do it for you. I'm trying to tell these cats, but I let them do their thing. I'll be a better man today. Hi everyone, Roy here. Welcome to Knowledge to Live By. Today, I want to talk about something that I think many people go through and many people can relate. How to not live with regret. Now, this is something that that we don't really think about, that we don't really analyze until we're in our 50s, 60s, 70s. I'm sure if you were to take surveys and you asked, What's their regrets in life? They'll have a whole fucking list. <laughs> and that's why people say that... Uh, I don't know if you ever heard this quote. It's, it's fairly well known. That the graveyard is the richest place on earth. Because that's where so many, so many people have died with their dreams. And so much untapped potential that could have been. Never was. So I want to I wanna share with you a couple things to keep in mind. So that that doesn't happen to you. So that you don't live your life with regret. And you don't look back when you're 50, 60 years old. Wishing you could have done that. You could have been this person. And you do that now. Do that today. Now, something that's helped me tremendously. And that I feel can help you tremendously. Is simply creating a list. 20 to 30 things that you would love to do in your lifetime. Whether that's skydiving, creating a business, it's just something that makes you feel so fulfilled and experienced that you can't see yourself leaving this earth without, right? Create that list and one by one, knock them out. Do it. You do not want to live this life with regret. There's there's a person, there's someone that's that you're waiting to become, but you have to go after that. There's experiences that are waiting for you. What you want, wants you. Everything in you, everything that you want in your life, it wants to experience you too. Let's put it that way. All right? So create a list and go after it. Knock them out one by one. Two. Create a... All right, now now I just created my own list. (laughs) So that was one. This is two. Very spontaneous, my friends. Two. Create goals. Create goals. Dream. Your dream life and your your dreams okay so there's a difference between your goals your dream and your dream life switch around the order your goals is your chief aim your little your short-term goals what you want to do within the next three to six months right your dream is what's your purpose what's your what do you feel is calling you in this life do you want to be a light worker again do you want to create a business you want to be a business owner do you want to be a leader in your industry Whatever it is, what is your dream? What do you what do you what excites you? What do you believe you can become, you can do? And your dream life is everything that comes along with your goal and your dream. So meaning, what kind of house do you want to live in? What kind of car do you want to drive? What do you want to feel? Right? What feelings do you want to feel fulfilled? Because that's really all we're chasing, right? We're chasing that feeling. What's your dream life look like? Do you want to help out the people around you financially? Do you want to be financially free? Do you want to feel so so happy inside like like you just you love who you are, you love everything about you? Right? What it, what does your dream life look like? How do you want to feel? That's really what it comes down to. You want to feel free, financially free? You want to be well known in your industry? There's a difference, right? As you can see, there's a huge difference between your goal, your dream, and your dream life. So today, I encourage you to take a look at that. Analyze, analyze those those specific aspects in your life and really see where you wanna go. What's your ideal life, okay? Because the last thing you wanna do is wake up one day and see where the last 40, 50 years of your life just went by and you could have done so many things but you didn't because you didn't take action because you were afraid because you didn't have the self-belief within to go out there and 
just face your fears. I say, nah, man, don't do that to yourself. You deserve the life that you want. You deserve to get, go out there and get after it. Everything you desire, make it happen. It's all up to you, man. It's all up to you. So don't live with regret. Live your life, live every moment to the fullest. As much as, feel fulfilled as you can, feel as good as you can every moment. Right? Much love.